Hi John, welcome to Oslo. Thank you Ali, my pleasure to be here. How are you? I'm a bit nervous prior to this quarter-final match, but I'm hopeful, I believe that they will win. Okay, so uh, what do you feel about uh, the team? I'm immensely proud of the team and the people surrounding it. Um, it's amazing what has happened in Pakistan following the Street Child World Cup. Um, I loved getting to know the project leaders and the boys in Rio in March. And I loved it even more when I visited Islamabad and met them afterwards. They did a 13 city tour, did loads of media, and they got the people of Pakistan talking about issues around street children. And it's amazing to come to Oslo and see the Pakistan community here caring about street children from Karachi. That fills me with enormous pride. I'm glad you mentioned Street Child World Cup. Uh, can you please tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, it's a football tournament that um, seeks to profile issues around street children. It's we use football and the arts to try and win rights for street children. So it's about using the focus of the world's media looking at um, a football game and focusing on children's rights. We believe street children in the 21st century, we believe no child should have to live on the streets anywhere in the world. And we want street children to have the same rights as each of our children, the right to shelter, the right to education, the right to healthcare. So, uh, having said that, uh, why are you here? <laughs> I couldn't not come. When I heard about the Norway Cup and that the team from Pakistan were going to be here, I live in Cambridge in England, I thought I've got to come and see it for myself. Um, my job involves witnessing a series of miracles, and this is a miracle in itself. It is absolutely phenomenal. I'm meeting people like Tina, um, who saw a film and had an idea and enrolled other people in gaining support to make this possible. Um, it's, it's humbling to come and say thank you to people like that. Uh, you were at uh, the game in the morning, uh, the pre-quarter finals. Uh, what are your feelings uh, seeing them play? They're, they're great now. because there's new youngsters involved. Um, I was scared because I saw the opposition and they were taller and they were stronger and they're playing at home. Um, but the boys have got great resilience um, and confidence and they play well as a team. Um, and I was biting my nails most of the way through and I was delighted they held on for a 1-0 victory. Uh, you know about uh, the match they're going to play now. It's mm. going to be a top team here in yeah. uh, Norway. Yeah. Uh, what are your, uh, what are you, what do you think will going to happen? Who knows? Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. Thank you, John. However, Thank you very much. they're the richest team in Norway. Someone said, and uh, they've been going for 118 years. These, the the team from from Pakistan have been together for about six months and they're former three children. I think they're going to win. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.